Hey everybody, it's Peter from Brantford Kia and today we're talking used cars and this one is super nice and it's probably one you want to buy and I'll tell you why in a second. First of all, what is this? This is stock number TE200A, might be 209A. Sorry, messy writing and the reason it's messy writing is because it's Tim, our sales manager's writing and the reason he wrote this, it's a Kia Sportage SX Turbo in white. The reason Tim wrote this is because this was his wife's car. Let's go take a look at it. All right, you're looking to buy a good top of the line car with a little bit of miles on it, but good highway miles. You want to know the history of the car and you'd love to be able to talk to the previous owner. This is your car. And you can finance it here. You can get warranties from it here. And you're also buying from to just today. We got an award saying that we are 2018 Kia's dealer of the year. So uh, we're the top dealer. So it's a pretty big award for us. It's a good reason to buy from us. And this is a good car to buy from us. We'll take a look at it. This is the SX model. So of course this is top of the line, loaded everything. I've got it running right now because it is stinking hot outside. And there's a couple features inside I want to show you when we get there. This is in really great condition. And like I said, it was owned by uh, Tim's wife who does a lot of business driving. And uh, so we'll check the kilometers on it. It's got uh, a few kilometers on it, but they're all good highway miles. We know the history of the car. Let's just check as we hop in right now. All right, 76,000 or so kilometers. Let's turn the climate system lower with the fan. All right, let's zoom in now. So again, I could have used the push button start to start it, which is of course right over there. Keyless entry, of course, loaded with everything. So here we go, here's what the dash looks like. You've got a tachometer and a temperature gauge on that side. In the center is a sort of multi-information display screen. On the right is your speedometer and fuel gauge. Now you do see some glare there. I don't know if I can hide it, but there is no glare at all from the driver's seat using two eyes instead of one single camera lens. Uh, you're all good there. It's uh, nice, uh, easy to see. Just the way the camera hits the lens there. It's the same thing you'll find over here. There's almost, yeah, actually no glare at all from my angle on this big 8-inch uh, screen here. As you can see, it's got navigation. It's also a Harman Kardon sound system. It's got Sirius XM satellite radio. So anytime you buy a car from us with satellite radio, you get three free months of satellite radio. So when I talk about loaded, we've got literally everything in here. All right, coming down, there's your audio controls, other map and uh, navigation controls. Moving down here, we've got the automatic climate control. So it's also dual zone automatic climate control. So you can have different temperatures set to the passenger side and the driver's side. Down here, not just rump roasters, which I'm a big fan of, seat heaters. Also today, and the reason I left the car running, is ventilated seats. Now those ventilated seats take that air conditioned air that you're pumping out in the car and ventilate it through the leather seats to keep you from sweating. And that is a nice feature, especially on a day like today, where it says it is 31 degrees outside but it feels significantly warmer than that. All right, let's scroll across over to here and we follow Dash into nice soft touch armrest with contrasting stitching in there. You'll see on the seats here, they are black leather seats. Sometimes colors don't show up perfectly in the uh, video, but they are black leather and you'll notice that they are perforated. And that perforation, of course, allows the ventilation to come through. And uh, ventilation, like I mentioned, very nice on a day like today. It is a five passenger car, so you can see there's uh, armrest in the middle there as well. And a uh, very comfortable car for, for sure, four people, five people, no problem. Just maybe not on the longest trip in the world. I'm back at the passenger seat. I'm going to look up from there. And there you see a sunroof, but not just any sunroof. A big, big panoramic sunroof. So the panels kind of look uh, distorted in this wide angle camera view, but you've got a huge panel above you and an equally large panel behind. Of course, the front one opens. Um, again, you have to see these things in person, these panoramic grooves, because they don't uh, show well on video, but you can see the whole cabin is just lit up. And maybe that's a better angle to show you. Uh, whole ceiling's lit up. Awesome feature right there. All right, let's scroll back around to the driver's seat here. Actually, we're just gonna scroll down to the um, automatic transmission. It does have automatic transmission tipped this way and you have manual shifting mode, so I can switch uh, between the six gears on my own there. And of course, while I go into reverse there, you'll see a backup camera as well. It's uh, warning me that I'm near some things over there, so don't worry about the beeping. All right, scrolling down, drive mode buttons. You've got uh, three different drive modes, eco, sport, and normal. You can lock it in four-wheel drive if you're in bad, uh, like deep snow or something like that. Hill descent control, electronic parking brake with the auto hold feature, so it can hold the car uh, stopped even with your foot off the brake if you wanted to use that. Parking sensors as well. Scrolling over to the steering wheel. There we go, we've got cruise control over here. That information display screen that we talked about before, that's uh, right in the center there. That's what these buttons are there for. You've got a little plus uh, lever right here. Now maybe I can show you what that is here, right? 
there we go. So it is a uh, paddle shifter. So you've got a paddle shifter on this side, paddle shifter on that side. Of course, this is a turbo engine, so this is the more powerful uh, engine. This is the engine they use in the uh, in the Stinger, to en the entry level Stinger. The uh, same engine in there. So you've got your head or wipers over there, headlights over here, automatic uh, wipe or automatic headlights, so they turn on automatically when it gets darker outside. Bluetooth controls over here, the other paddle shifter. You've got blind spot detection and uh, lane departure warning there as well. And uh, actually, maybe lane, lane keeping assist. I'll have to double check that. You've got your power tailgate as well that you can look at there. Power mirrors, power locks, power windows. The mirrors, of course, you can set to fold in. So if you wanted to park in a tight parking spot and just keep those away from danger, you can fold those in. And they can be set to automatically do that when you lock the car as well. So lots and lots and lots and lots of features in this car. We're going to hop out as we do that. I'm going to show you the key fob. Typical standard Kia key fob. Just nice simple key fob to keep in your pocket. I'm going to hold this button right there that says the trunk button. And the reason I'm holding it is because, like I mentioned, it's a powered trunk. So this other thing is, is it's a smart uh, tailgate. So what that means is you don't even have to hold that button. You can set the tailgate up to open just as you approach it with your smart key. You won't have to touch it. Some competitors, uh, you have to wave your foot underneath the uh, uh, tailgate to get to do that. You won't have to do that here. You can see Tim takes care of his stuff. You've got a leather, or sorry, leather, a rubber mat here. Underneath uh, there, you've got some underfloor storage as well. Seats fold down. We're going to tap that button again. If you're interested in this car or any car just like it, feel free to give us a call. This car will be a little bit more rare because, like I said, it's owned by Tim's wife in the past. Uh, and we do have full history on this car. But yeah, if you want to take a look at this car, give us a call. 509-304-6542. If you would like to get in touch with our sales staff, www.brantfordkia.ca. Or to make it even simpler, there's a link in the description. Links you right to our sales team. Just click that link and it'll take you right to them. And they'll get back to you. Thanks everybody for watching.